and today's video is going to be a super fun and cool video I was about to say just this video <laughs> a makeup tutorial this is my very first ever makeup tutorial and I'm so excited to actually do one for the very first time and believe it or not my dad was the one that inspired me to do this because he told me daughter you should lean your channel more towards beauty community and I was like, you're so right, Dad, because he, he says that he's always seen me watch all these beauty videos. So he says, why don't you do it? So then I was like, you know what, Dad, you're right. I, without further ado, if you enjoy my, in, how do we say this? I'm not going to stop doing my sit down videos, but I'm going to be once in a while be posting like let's say makeup videos and then once in a while I'm gonna be posting my normal sit down videos so give this video a big thumbs up if you like this new uh, inclusion we could say like including I'm including beauty into my videos now so give it a big thumbs up if you're happy for that and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already hey do so let's give you a challenge Subscribe in five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Hmm, I dared you. And make sure to hit post notifications on in the little bell button so that we'll get notified every time I upload a video. So let's get on with the tutorial. Guys, I'm gonna be linking everything down below in the description box just in case you don't mention things. Since this is my very first makeup tutorial, I'm not really good at like doing a makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna try my best, okay guys? So I really wanna make this one of my best ones yet. And I was like, what better look than the girly makeup look? My favorite. So now let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte in the shade Golden Beige 104. So as a primer, I'm gonna be using my Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer. First, I'm gonna do it as a primer, and I'm also gonna mix it in with this so that way, like the shade gets a little bit sheer because this is obviously not my shade. So for my brush today, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques, the stippling brush, the pink one that says by Sam and Nick. Oh, I've made it into like this, like it's like a little swirl of skin color and moisturizer. So time for the application now. I believe the sibling motion is the best one and like the beauty blender instead of like brushes with the pulling and tugging on the skin because that way you avoid premature wrinkles. The neck is also another sensitive area so be careful because like if you notice I'm not saying all people over 40 like let's say if your mom is like over 40 even your dad my dad has it like this part of the neck starts to hang so like that's another sensitive area we're done so i'm not gonna be doing a uh, powder i'm gonna do my blush first cool tip where you smile like you're gonna put on your blush like and you put it on your cheek And then you just brush it out. So after blush, I like going in with my contour. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Cough Caramel Toffee 758. They say that this is a really good dupe. I'm not really sure for which, but I believe it or not, I'm going to be using this brush. It's a not brown brush. It's just like a normal fat eyeshadow brush. Not fat, like the thick, like the bigger eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be using it right here. I don't understand why people use humongous brushes like this thick 
and I'm like, but I don't want the big old block of brown on my face. I want like a little bit, just a little bit. I only went halfway like to my cheek, like right there, see? Imagine if I just got like two lines right there. I'm going in with my stippling brush now. But I don't think it's doing enough justice to be honest. It's not doing the justice that I want, so I'm gonna go in with my kabuki brush. Same, I think this is an Avon brush. Okay, that's better. So now I'm going with my nose. blush now. So what am I going to be using? I'm going to be using the Dramatic and Smoky Face and Eye Trio. going to be using my um, Kabuki brush for I saw Fiona Frills do this where she puts her bronzer. I've been calling bronzer blush. Oh my god. Ah, pick up on me. Like right here on the temple. Now I get to go to the eyebrows. I'm not gonna be doing my eyebrows, guys, but if you guys wanna know what eyebrow pencil I do use, I use it on Asazia Beverly Hills Brown Finer in the shade Granite. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be using my Ulta Beauty Box. So I'm gonna be taking the palette that comes in it. And I'm gonna give myself like pink eye, like a cute pink eye. So I'm gonna put on primer because these eyeshadows you do need to put on primer if you want it to give you like the like the full eyeshadow effect. So it comes with a little primer and it's super good. So I'm gonna be using my smaller eyeshadow brush. If I'm not mistaken, it's a shade Rebel. So I'm gonna put this shade all over my eyelid. Oh, I think I did that really good. Next color I'm gonna use for my crease. I think I'm gonna go with Stay. It's like a nice light brown, my favorite. That's what I don't like about these eyeshadows, that they have a lot of fallout just on my crease. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Princess. It's like a really super dark brown and I feel like these colors are printed on backwards because like the shade that you would think is called princess isn't princess and the one that you think is called evil isn't evil i really don't know so this is gonna go on my outer v corner when you apply it make sure you apply it with gentleness Now on my brow bone, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with this like eyeshadow brush that you usually get with packaging and nobody uses. Well, some people use it, but I'm gonna be using it for my brow bone. Super nice and pigmented. Like, look at that highlight, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my inner corner right here. Just go with like a lower lash color. I'm gonna use the ashy brown. Let me just finish this real quick. I'm just gonna go all over with my EOS. And if you're asking why I'm going over with my EOS, it's because my lip gloss tingles. If not, I would just go straight off my lip gloss. My battery is about to die, so I need to do this real fast. And I'm just going to finish off my highlight. I'm going to go in with the middle shade called Diamond. Highlight goes on the top point, and the top point is right here. A lot of people think it's right here, but no, this is the high point of the cheek. And I also go in my nose. I put a little bit of highlight on my lips. Just to get that big effect. Well, this is a finished look, guys. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever beauty video. I'll see you guys in my next video.